getting the GoPro set up and drinking the coffee right now. Anna, what ha what's going on? I'm sick. She again. is sick again. Took my charcoal pills and diarrhea pills early last night and three times since then, so I'm hoping that I can make it through this scuba trip without embarrassing myself. I feel so bad for her. Headed on the boat now. Look how big this wet bag is. Momo gave it to me back there, very nice. Very nice of him. And we are off. Hopefully Anna's okay. I'm gonna try and still have fun. It's really crazy how public my life is right now. We're heading to the registration boat now so we can register our dives. So right behind me is where we register. There's tons of people trying to register a boat for diving. You're pretty good at that, Emma. <laughs> Registration went smoothly, now we're headed out, baby. Whoop, whoop. Look at this water. Anna, this deserves a you know what. It is another perfect day. Island vibes, country music, and Anna, and some scuba diving. Let's see what we can do, baby. Woo! One hand on that wheel. hike it because it rained. The path of the trail is too slippery and dangerous. So right now we're just kind of checking it out. Maybe Ian and I can come back another day to hike it. But look at this water. It is glass blue. It's a really cool blue. Look at all the sea urchins down there. It stinks we can't climb it, but that means we get three dives today and maybe we'll go another day. We're stopping for someone to take a picture. <laughs> Dundee, where are we going diving? Twin brother and twin sister. Twin brother, twin sister. And it's on this island though? It's like, okay. What is it called? Like the whole island is called what? Uh, Dulang. Because Boe Dulang is close to hike, we're gonna have three separate dives today instead. Okay, so if you have a problem, let me know. Yeah? So you have a problem, your heels or your mouth or anything, and then we freak it out how we're gonna fix it. Okay? You don't need to panic. Just come to me, I will fix it. Hey, whoo! Woo! <laughs> woot, woot! Come on! Get it, Anna. You're gonna be on the. Whoa! Woo! Three, two, one. Wait, wait, wait! seems a lot more excited about this than I am. The first turtle we saw. He's saving a Hawksbill turtle. <laughs> saving a Hawksbill turtle. We were down there and there was a turtle. He was digging for something. I noticed it like the first glimpse, I was like, I don't know what he's eating. And then the second glance, I saw that it was plastic. It's this little plastic bag. 
and I started freaking out, yelling at Ian, like, get it from him, somebody. I was actually saying, I don't know, you probably didn't hear this, but I was saying, Diddy, don't eat that, Diddy. Like, yeah, I saw you do that. You were like, like telling Diddy. it, no, don't do it. Yeah. And then you kicked it with your fin. I was like, okay, I have to take it. I can't watch this. So I know you're not supposed to touch the turtles. I learned that. I just kicked it, the plastic away with my fin and then grabbed it. So it didn't eat the whole thing, but it did have some nibbles of it, which is really upsetting. Also, Diddy is, it's something we say in our family. It just means bad, like bad, don't eat that. I was amazed at the whole situation. At first I thought it was digging out a jellyfish from underneath the rocks or trying to go after a fish or something. And then Anna was like freaking out and I was like, whoa, what is that? She kicks away the plastic baggie and seriously saved the turtle's life. And it was the most amazing thing. And Dendel's saying like he never sees that out here. He hears I'm, about the whole- I'm really jealous, I'm really jealous. <laughs> you should tell me. <laughs> so on a real note, uh, we actually just saw a video of turtles eating plastic when we went to Turtle Island and you know, bringing- Click on that video. Bringing awareness to it. And I just wanna say that this does actually happen. I am just a girl who went diving and saw this happen in real life. And we just all need to be a lot better. There's plastic everywhere. I hope I'm setting a good example and you can all try a little better. Now is tea time right here. That was the coolest dive I've been on. It was just more unique because Anna saved a turtle this time. So I'm blown away. I'm so proud of her and she's all like, She's all nervous I'm now. Shy. She's shy after doing it. Like, we still got two more dives today and we're gonna relax and have some tea. We weren't able to go hike Bohe du Lang, but we got to drone it. This is how you land a drone in the ocean. That's how we do it. Dive number two, here we come. Got done with our second dive. Anna's taking off her gear. Superwoman! <laughs> Superwoman! It's so fun not having to wear a wetsuit. Yeah, I like it way better. I hate having to take it on and off. Two beautiful dives down. We're getting this food ready for a nice lunch. Anna's very hungry because you do burn 800 calories when diving. Noodle. Some eggs. Watermelon. Anna's loving it. Look at those mountains in the background. Oh my gosh. So pretty. Anna's my nurse. I got a bad blister Anna's helping me with. <laughs> Just had a beautiful lunch out here. There is no one in sight on any part of this ocean where we're at. There's a beautiful island right here. Wow, we just got out from a great dive. So we just saw about a hundred barracudas. They're called Chevron barracudas. Oh my gosh, they were so pretty and you would just swim up through them and they would swim around us in circles. Anna, what do you have to say about that? It was awesome though. It was kind of like, holy shit, the whole time, you know? Great guide today. Oh, thank great you. Great guide. Thank you. Got us barracudas, turtles. <laughs> New friends from Germany came in today. 
They're already trying some crazy shit. Get after it. <laughs> Here we go. Woo! That looks fun. All right, so Momo here is gonna tell us how they collect trash in a natural way. As you can see here, we have two set up here. This is just a prototype, yeah? So what we set up is uh, like a bar of um, pipe with some floats, okay? And uh, kind of like a one meter net going down. So what this does is to collect trash for us, yeah? Instead of actually going into the water, it's a lot more easier for you to just scoop it up and not be wet, yeah? Because sometimes, sometimes people don't want to be wet. So this is a way for us to manage our trash around here. If you guys have been to Sampurna or if you guys know about Sampurna, Sampurna is really big on trash pollution. This is our way to handle such problems, okay? Even though it's a little bit, but at least it helps some, some people. We hope that other people can follow suit and I do hope that, you know, this will spread out and grow bigger. So yeah. Momo said it so nice right there. There is a huge problem, not only here, but all over Asia and all over the world. That's why we picked ND divers to stay here and dive with them because they are trying to fix the problem one day at a time. Today, the turtle with the plastic in its mouth, it's a real thing. We aren't divers that go out every day. That was our 10th dive ever. Right now, I'm gonna show you a screen recording of my phone. I put a time lapse on last night and it shows how much plastic was going through the ocean. So I am headed to swim across See, I guess there's a new bridge and all the local kids are jumping off of it right now and I have FOMO so I'm gonna go check them out. Ian's droning and he's gonna meet me over there after. All right I'm headed out <sighs> We just had some fun with the kids over on that new bridge over there and now we're gonna go get some dinner. Look at this, watermelons, oh gosh. If you like that video, give it a thumbs up, comment down below what you think, and we'll see you in the next one. See ya.